Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 18th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at our mighty, powerful sun, 304 angstroms showing a large plasma filament taking off from the top left-hand side as well. A sharp flare there throwing out from the sunspot region that is cresting in. Having a look at the cresting and incoming imagery. We have one sunspot there on the left-hand side and as well a couple more cresting both northern and southern hemisphere. pretty big flash there coming out we've seen so many flares over the past three days four days looking at the last 48 hours outgoing we did have quite the backside blast yet again you'll be able to see that with the ISPA space prediction spiral still some amazing imagery coming from solar dynamics observatory another closer look at that plasma filament that took off and as well, that plasma shot right there. That was a fast moving filament taking off from the surface of our sun. Having a look at multi spectrum, the last 48 hours of events, pretty active region that is outgoing. And as well, one Earth facing. We've got a couple coronal holes to talk about, but that cresting top left hand side, very busy. Having a look at another light here, and you can see the darkened regions, which are the coronal holes. They are in an Earth-facing position right now. We can expect an accelerated solar wind stream over the next 12, 36 hours. And as well, just waiting to see what comes around from the backside of the sun, as it's been busy shooting out many large CMEs. Luckily, not in an Earth-facing fashion, or luckily that's not Earth-facing CMEs. Having a look at solar X-ray flux as it still remains in a C-class range. About four or five C-class flares over the last 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated into the 19th and expecting that to get even worse here over the next little bit of time here. Real-time solar wind sitting at 337 kilometers per second. After being smacked around a little bit there and then dropped right down to almost 280. But our magnetosphere was definitely smacked around. Having a look at Lasco 2 and 3. This is the 2. As we do have a sun diving comet to talk about there. 16th into the 17th. Watch it come in on the bottom left hand side there. Once in a while we get to view those. But a large plasma filament taking off from the top left hand side. Fast moving. And as well, the backside CME to talk about. Look at all this energy taking off from our sun. As over the past four days, it's released probably about 50 solar flares. And at least 10 of them being pretty strong M-class flares. Another closer look here at that sun diving comet. And of course see all that energy coming right at us quick look at that smack that i was talking about our solar winds were right down to about 280 and then smack we got hit big time and then just disappeared again so a little stealth cme or plasma activity hitting us Looking at the ISPA space prediction spiral, showing a CME blast towards Mercury, and as well a backside blast taking off towards the Bepi satellite. And then again, a couple more blasts taking off in the same direction from the same sunspot region. Waiting for this energy to come around 18th into the 19th, so that is today and tomorrow. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 5, quality of 8, amplitude of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. It's been pretty quiet. We're only sitting at about 220 earthquakes 
across the USGS map, largest being 5.6 in Miyazaki, Japan. And this was yesterday. 4.8 there was the most recent through the region. As well, a 5.2 there, northern Philippines, Bolotok, Philippines off the coast, and as well, Indonesia towards the Dukano volcano. Activity still on both sides of Krakatoa. As well, Papua New Guinea seeing some activity today, 4.6, and our deepest earthquake to talk about, 579 kilometer depth in Fiji. So we always, we kind of expect those deep earthquakes there, and then a larger, shallower to follow. 4.5 there, Zingzang, China, and as well a 4.2, Tajikistan. 4.7 in a pretty rare region, Turkey-Syria border, reporting a 4.7 magnitude and a 4.5 in Greece. The Rec James Ridge, Atlantic Plate moving up into Iceland, 5.0 and a 4.6. And then we get to the Caribbean Plate, where this has probably been the busiest region the past 24 hours, 4.3. And as well, a 4.1 there, Puerto Rico. And as well, a 3.7 just recently, the Virgin Islands. But over the past 24, 48 hours, we also did see a 40, a 4.8 earthquake, Puerto Padre, Cuba. And then into the South American plate, 5.3 there, Peru yesterday. This is all to report today, a 4.4 Bolivia and a 4.1 there, southern Peru. 4.8 South Sandwich Islands and as well a 4.2 here, South Africa. Uh, Still Fontaine, South Africa, a 4.2. And then over the United States, just minor activity through Mentone, Texas. Not too much to talk about across the United States right now, no major swarms. Or notable activity. Largest through Hawaii region being a 3.2. And a quick look at the Kilauea caldera. As lava is moving again through that little soft spot there. You can see it leaking through. But nothing major. Minor activity up into Alaska as well. Let's have a quick glance at the last seven days for activity across the globe. And take a quick moment to thank everybody for tuning in today. Thank you so much for your subscriptions, your memberships, and as well all of the love and support that you give to this channel. I thank you all for staying aware and prepared and for choosing daily events worldwide. Much love and prayers for humanity as we go through all these changes together. And we're going to see some great changes over this next little bit. We do have winter solstice coming up as well 52 volcanoes erupting across the world having a look at the most recent satellite imagery and the most recent volcanoes getting updated Cotopaxi in Ecuador Sabancaya in Peru Sangay in Ecuador Semeru Indonesia Fuego Guatemala Shevelich in Russia many flood alerts about 170 active hazards right now on this app Kind of makes it hard to find the active and most recent volcanoes. Reventador in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico. Extreme cold, Manitoba. Nevada's Daru is in Colombia. So that's about nine volcanoes getting updated today or elevated. Looking at satellite imagery, have a large low-pressure system heading up into Spain and the United Kingdom. Quite a bit of moisture north of Hawaii. High surf warnings and as well flood watches through the northern parts of the island. We do have one tropical storm to talk about. Tropical cyclone Darien is alive as of three hours ago being named not much effect to humanity there. And then a quick look here across Africa and the Atlantic. Quite a bit of moisture moving into parts of South Africa. I also wanted to share with you here the SO2 emissions map. As all of this SO2 that Mauna Loa erupted about two weeks ago 
has totally enveloped the Northern Hemisphere. There is a lot of yellow, a lot of sulfur emissions still just swirling around our northern polar vortex. So the polar vortex is helping things speed up and move all around our planet. We've also got some pretty extreme weather here developing for eastern Canada and as well as the United States. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, it's going to be pretty hard for Santa Claus to be flying around here in 65 kilometer per hour winds. As well, coastal regions of the Atlantic provinces watch for upwards of 90 kilometers per hour as we have that big superstorm still forecast here for eastern Canada and the United States as it heads straight north into the Hudson Bay area. Long-range forecast should be interesting. Let's have a look here at how much snow will be coming. As it could be heavy at times as we have that Alberta clipper here. Got a low-pressure center that's moving in through the BC-Washington border. And then it's going to mix with another low coming from the Gulf. Extreme weather all up across southeastern United States and northeastern Lots of snow here. We could see about 10 to 15 centimeters Christmas Eve and Christmas Day through parts of Ontario and then another system moving in about two or three days after that. So happy holidays, everybody. I hope you're staying aware and prepared here and ready. Got quite a bit of moisture here moving into the West Coast, BC and Washington and then eventually in Northern California in the long range forecast some big rains moving in. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Still watching the atmospheric river stretch out of Buenos Aires, Brazil there. Daily evaporation rains, not too much to talk about. Overlooking Europe, get a quite a vigorous low just north of the United Kingdom and Ireland, and then another one moving in for Christmas time. But it looks like a big high-pressure ridge locked over. Most of Central Europe is going to keep things dry through the Christmas holidays. Quick look here at Tropical Cyclone Darien as it kind of fizzles out and heads southward. Low-pressure center hanging out through parts of northern Australia. Other than that, no major tropical cyclones or typhoons developing. But definitely a polar outflow coming out of China. And then watch as a low pressure system comes from Alaska and heads west. Quick glance at temperatures here for the next five days. Especially through that big system that will be coming for Christmas. And as well, Calgary will see a Chinook on Christmas Day. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.